For today's project, we're going to need a metric socket set, specifically a 13 millimeter and 17 millimeter socket, a, an adjustable crescent wrench, two eight foot ladders, three adults, an electric drill, a five sixteenths inch drill bit, a one eight inch drill bit, tape measure, a level, roof sealant caulk, chalk, or a pencil. You want to start by making sure that your roof meets the roof requirements on the screen. You can then make a center mark by centering on the roof line, the garage door, or the playing area. We're going to start by assembling the telescoping arms on the bracket so that we can mount it to the roof. To do this, we're going to use the two 10 millimeter bolts. Make sure to tighten fully. Next, you want to place the bracket on the roof on your center mark. Next, using one of the lag bolts, we're going to lag the center of the bracket into the roof so that we can pivot on this point to square it to the area. Now, with someone standing at the free throw line, you can square the bracket to the playing area. Once square, you can install the rest of the lag bolts. Make sure to leave the top three spots open for the carry through bolts. Next, you can loosen the bracket and push it all the way backwards so that you can gain access to the top holes. Then using a 5 16 drill bit, drill all three of those holes all the way through. In this particular case, the center ended up hitting a rafter, so we just ended up putting a lag bolt in there instead of a carry through bolt. Place your carry through bolt through using one washer, and on the underside, use a washer, lock washer, and a nut, and tighten. Repeat this for all of your carry through bolts. Next, we're gonna pull the bracket forward and level it. Once one side's level, make sure to tighten thoroughly. Then level the other side and tighten. Now that the bracket has been pulled forward, you can gain access to the front two mounting holes and install the lag bolts. Next, we're gonna measure from the ground all the way up to 10 foot and make a chalk or pencil mark. This is going to be used to line this mark up with the top of the rim bolts so that you know where roughly 10 foot is so you know which slotted holes to use. We will line this 10 foot mark up with the two top rim bolt holes on the glass backboard. Then use two of the six 8 millimeter bolts, nuts, and washers to attach the two bottom sections of the backboard to the bracket and then you can release the weight. Then use the remaining four eight millimeter bolts, nuts, and washers uh, to secure the bracket. You may only end up using two more or four more depending on your bolt locations. Now your backboard will be loosely fitted to the bracket. Next, we're gonna install the rim. Start by placing your four rim spacers in the holes of the backboard, as shown. This is crucial. You do not want your rim mounted directly to the glass. Using the four bolts, nuts, and washers provided with the rim, mount the rim to the backboard, securing all four, lightly tightening, do not fully tighten yet. Next, we're gonna measure from the top of the rim down to the ground. In our case, we were nine foot six inches from the top of the rim to the ground. This means we need to raise the system six inches. To do this, we're gonna measure from the bottom of the backboard up six inches and make a mark on the bracket. Then raise the bottom of the backboard up to match your mark and tighten up the left bottom hex nut. Then place a level on the top of the backboard and tighten up the right bottom hex nut. Once your backboard's level, tighten the remaining two or four hex nuts depending on your configuration. Next, place a level on your rim and level your rim left to right. Once you've leveled the rim, you can tighten the four hex nuts holding the rim to the backboard. Be sure to watch the level as this might move as you tighten. Next, double check that from the top of the rim down to the ground is still 10 feet. If not, you can make minor adjustments. The last step of assembling the rim is to assemble the rim plate. There are two Phillips headed screws that you'll be installing 
one on the left and one on the right of the rim plate. Lastly, we're gonna put roof sealant on all of the hex nuts that we put into the roof. Now you can start to play some basketball.